Jax was a bit black. No. No. Like a rubber band. If you are not part of my Jurassic Park Club, just click the red button and hit the bell for you to be notified whenever I posted new stuff like this. Hello my Jurassic Park welcome back to my channel. I'm now here at Manila House Private Club for the lift and lunch event of my lovely friend, a certified dermatologist, dermatologic and laser surgeon, none other than Dr. Beverly Ong Amaranto. She is an expert in facial anatomy, so she really knows how to look at you. Actually, she looks at me all the time and says, Oh, you've been chewing on your left side, no? Or you've been sleeping on your right side, no? Because my husband snores, so I sleep like that. I'm sure all of you, everyone here has issues with aging. Yes. Everyone. I, I guess that's the reason why all of you guys are here. present to us the new technology in facelifting. So please join me as we discover this technology in dermatology, okay? So why this technology? Okay. Uh, there are a lot of machines nowadays, but um, you know, with the issues of aging, it's very variant and I find that it has to be tailored. There are patients who are above 60s, 70s that cannot do the other popular machines and energy-based devices nowadays. On the other hand, I find this machine can be used even from the 30s to even as old as 79 or 80 years old. We already know a lot about collagen, elastic. Some of us actually take oral collagen. But what's hyaluronic acid? We know of it as a commercial stuff that is in syringe. But no, it's actually a repeating sugar that is present in our skin. And it's responsible for keeping the radiance and the moisture. But as we age, so this study came out as early, late as uh, 1994, that as we age, up until you turn 30, these granules totally disappear. Okay? So, that is why what we see is dry, wrinkled, lackluster skin. So the studies show that if you actually inject tiny amounts of hyaluronic acid to replace a post loss, it actually stimulates new collagen production. Okay? And it thickens the skin. So this is another study that again, one month and three months after, it increases new collagen production in the skin. Of course, not all of us can tolerate needles, so that's why this is the answer. So, what is the Energet, the machine as a whole? It's actually an energy-based device that um, combines kinetic energy, that's why it's called a kinetic facelift, and the therapeutic energy of hyaluronic acid. Okay? So, it's not like the other lasers nowadays and the other energy-based machines that uses heat. This one does not use heat and does not use cold. It uses moving or kinetic energy. So it's just pressure. The closest thing I could describe it with is, you know, the hose of a fireman. So it uses that fast jet stream pressure to introduce the material without the use of a needle. So this is it. I will show you a video of how it's done. So that, that's the tip that is attached to this machine. And every patient gets a new one, so it's disposable because, of course, there is a little splash of the material and uh, skin materials and as well as uh, tiny bits of blood. So it's replaced for every patient. So what it does is it stimulates those fibroblasts and the collagen and it thickens up the skin with no needle involved. So this is the needle and this is just the jet technology. The 
kids, the sedation, sedation and so the age is very active. So what is the best age for them to, to, start. to, to start for this? Uh, there is no best age, but there is a best scenario. So usually I try to stabilize the patient's acne first. Okay. There is no point to treat the scar if the patient's disease is still active. So once it's stable and the patient does not develop any more acne, then that's the best time to start the treatment. But I usually really tell them it's uh, just to be patient because some would want to be treated both at the same time. But to me, it's pointless. It's very because we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go over and over and over and then treat first. Correct. Yeah, at the same time, the stretch marks. So uh, as we know, stretch marks is very difficult to treat. So it's given. So for stretch marks, so what's the ideal? I mean, how many sessions? Or it depends on the skin yeah. content. It depends on the the gravity of the stretch marks. So how deep it is. Um, you should choose the white stretch marks, not the red new ones. So you have to wait until it's white and uh, you know. The, I mean, everyone has it. <laughs> That's most of the concern. <laughs> Usually, the the thinner ones, one session is enough. Average. So for this procedure, doctora, how long it will last? Okay, for a mini lift, uh, it will usually last for around six months. Okay, depending of course on the age of the patient. So I tailor the treatment depending on the age of the patient. If say it's a full lift, then it should last for at least six to eight months. Six to eight. So sometimes even for a year. But they usually advise a full lift followed by a booster of a mini lift after around six months and that you're good to go for a year. Uh, for acne scars, stretch marks, um, that is permanent. Wow. So once we treat it, of course, the results are permanent already. But for lifting, as long as we age, of course, because of gravity, <laughs> yes. then we still have to redo it after a year. So in conclusion, it's a non-surgical painless facelift that actually delivers the therapeutic benefits of hyaluronic acid. Intradermal hyaluronic acid is what I use for the kinetic lifting, for anti-aging, and for the thickening of the skin. And it activates the skin's natural healing cascade. So what it does is it thickens the skin by producing new collagen, and it increases skin moisture by introducing new hyaluronic acid. beautiful as Dr. Beverly Ong Amaranto so I'll give the links down below the description box how you will see or how will you visit Dr. Vebs okay that's it and thank you for joining me for today until next time